Warm welcome to Unanda. In our biological class, now we see the classification of plants. Normally, first why we need a classification? For easy to understanding, we classify plants with similar characters. The similar characters plants are classified into the one group so that we can easily understand the plants and easy to memorize the plants for, for the maximum utilization in our life. The plant classified by so many scientists, but still now we follow the Bentham and Cooker system of classification. Why means Bentham and Cooker classify the plants based on their sexual characters, mainly their floral, their floral characters. So that we call the Bentham and Cooker system of classification is a natural system of classification. Let me see how Bentham and Cooker classify the plants at the time of the plant classification. Most of the students are confused. How could we classify the plants? How could we put this plant into a, some series and some families? Here there are the few tips what our Bendham and Cooker explained us. First, Bendham and Cooker seen the plant, the plants, mainly the flowering plants. The flowering plants are called the, the penologians. Non-flowering plant is called Cryptogens. Bentham and Cooker classified only the flowering plants, that's called the penologians. At the time of classification, Bentham and Cooker sees the monocotyledon plants and the dicotyledon plants and the plants which are not including monocot and dicot but they produce a flowers and also a fruit. Their fruits are open cedar. Their plants are comes under the category gymnosperms. And the single cotyledon plants are put into a monocot. And the double cotyledon plants are put into a dicotyledon. Even now, most of our students uh, could not understand, could not identify whether the plants are comes under dicotyledon or monocotyledon. If we if we ask the students, how could you identify the dicotyledon plants and the monocotyledon plants? Plant students are simply says dicotyledon plant means it contains a two cotyledon and the epicular veins and also a tapeworm system. And the monocotyledon means it's a single cotyledon and the it's a parallel veination and also it produces a fibrous root system. That's all okay. But at seed one plant, at the one glance, if you see the plants at one glance, how could you identify, how could you determine whether the plant is dicot and monocot? It is a simple tip. If you see one plant, if the plants contains a side branches, the plants are comes under dicot then. If the plant does not contain their side branches, that plant comes under the monocotyledon. You simply assume that the carcass lucifera coconut does not contain the side branch, so it comes under the monocot. Bolasus flaffelifer, ben benarenti, it contains so many branches, it comes under the dicot. Even a small plant, the Ashimum sandam, holy basic, it contains so many branches, it contains the dicot. And the grasses does not contain the side plants, it comes under monocot. And the plant, if we cut the main stem, that plant does not grow, that plant comes under the monocot plant. And if we cut the uh, main stem, the plants are grown by a side nodal region, that plants are put into a dicot. Okay, right. Let me see how Bentham and Cooker classified the plants. He classified into dicot, gymnosperms, and monocot. In dicot, Bentham and Cooker seen the dicotyledon plants. In dicotyledon plants, the flowers, okay, it, it is mostly the flowering plants, the flower contains a different, different type of difficult characters. In dicotyledon alone, flowers contain three difficult characters. One character is, most of the flowers are, their flower petals. Petal means they color the pot. The petals are fizzy. So, he puts the fizzy petal plants in the name polypetale. Poly means fizzy. Pali means fizzy, petal means petal, the corolla part, the corolla is called petal. So the pali petal means fizzy corolla, the fizzy corolla. Okay, it is a fizzy corolla, it is a pali petal. Then it is a monocotyl. Mono uh, the petals are fused. If petals are fused, you put the fused petals into gamo petal. The gamo means fused, petals means a corolla, the corolla. If corolla is fused, you put that plants into a gamo petal. And some plants, 
either Kalex or Karola is present. Or in few cases, we could not identify whether it is Kalex or Karola. Dead plants are concerned with the subsidies. Monoclamide. Some say the subclass, the monoclamide. Mono means single. Clamide means a series. So monoclamide. The sepals are petals are not differentiated. That term is called pyria. If, if pyria alone is present, that plant comes under the monoclamide. Then the polypetlet. The polypetlet is further divided between three series. There is tarifloe, disiflore, and the caliciflore. The polypetal, that means a petal series flowers contains a three type of series. First, if you see the plant, this plant flower contains a, the flower may be kypogynous flower or epigynous flower. I hope as part of students, we are well known that what is kypogynous and what is epigynous. Kypogynous means the gynesium present in the top. Below the gynesium, the calyx, corolla, androsium, all are arise. It, that flower is also called the superior ovary flower. The superior ovary flower is called kypogynous. And the gynesium present in the, uh, in the bottom, above the gynesium, the callus, corolla, androsium, and the all floral parts are alive. That gynesium is called the epigynous. That flower is called inferior ovary, inferior ovary flowers. So, first key classified into superior ovary and the inferior ovary plants. The, the inferior ovary plants she simply put into a caliciflore. And in superior ovary, that means a kypogynous flower. If kypogynous flower contains many stamens, the androceums are many, the many stamens are present, and also no disc are present. Their flowers are comes under the category thalamiflora. Thalamiflora means a prominent thalamus is present. Thalamus means yeah, 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 small thalamus is present, so it's called thalamiflora. Thalamiflora means the flowers contains a polypetalate and the many androceums and the proper thalamus is present. And this flower means this flower also a kypogynous flower, superior ovary, kypogynous flower, and a prominent disc is present. Caliciflora means the polypetal flower with inferior ovary. Ovary is inferior. That comes under the category caliciflora. Then gamopetal. Gamopetal means a fused petal. The petals are fused. That flowers are put into a the, the subclass gamopetal. In gamopetal also, if the flowers are inferior ovary, inferior ovary means a epigynous flower. The epigynous flowers are put in a category inferior. Inferior means inferior ovary. And the gamopetal also, the superior ovary flowers are present. The superior, the superior ovary flowers contain two distinct characters. One character is the, the contains a androsium in two rows. You know the androsium, androsium present in two rows. That means two series. The two rosette, the two rosette of androsium is present, and also carpels. The carpels are more than two. Their plants are comes under the series Ketilomere. So Ketilomere means superior ovary flowers, androsium present in a two series. The two series androsiums are present, and the carpels are more than two. Then bicarpellate. The third series is a bicarpellate. Bicarpellate is also a superior ovary flower. In superior ovary flower, it contains the androsium in single series. A, a single rosette of androsium is present. And the carpels are two. Only two carpels are present. That plants put into a series bicarpellate. Then we come into a monoclamide. Monoclamide means I already explained only one series is present. Either calyx or corolla is present. And the flowers, well, we could not identify the calyx and the corolla. The pyrium, the pyrium alone is present. Their flowers are coming to a subclass monoclamide. The monoclamide alone is further classified into eight series. Okay, further classified into a eight series. The series one, two, three, and series eight. The first series is a Calvendia. Calvendia means it contains only one ovule. Only one ovule is present. That means only one carpal and one ovule is present. That embryo is coiled. The coiled embryo is present. That plants are comes under the subseries. The series Calvendia. The second series is multi ovule aquatiae. 
The name itself contains the many. Multi means many. Ovulate means many ovules. That means many ovules are present in the flower. Aquatia means that plant present in the water. The chytopyes. And the third series is multi ovulate telostase. Multi ovulate means the multi means many. The many ovules are present. And the telostase means the plants are in land plant. And the fourth series is micro MBA. Micro MBA is very minute MBA. Very much. Only single, single MBA is present. That MBA is very, very minute. That plants are concerned with the series micro MBA. And the fifth series is here. Death names. Death names means one couple contains only one ovule. That ovule is a superior one. The superior ovary. Only one carpus are present that comes under the series death names. And the eclamidos pole. In eclamidos pole, one carpal is present, but in one carpal, the ovules are one to three. Here, in death names, only one carpal present, but one ovules are present. But here, one carpals are present. In that one carpals, ovules are one to three. That comes under the series eclamidos pole. And the seventh series is unisexuals. Unisexual, the name itself contains a mini. Uni, uni means a single. A single sexed flowers are present. That means only the male flower or female flower alone are present in some plant. That are comes under the category unisexual, mainly the hippo BSA is comes under the unisexuals. The oh. eighth series, the eighth series is here. Important series in monoclamidae that is RNS anomaly. The RNS anomaly means the unrelated families and also uncertain families. When the mother place the uncertain, uncertain families are the plant families which are very, very difficult to identify, difficult to classify in monoclamidae. The, that all plant species are put into a one series. That series is called RNS anomaly. Again, the gymnosperm, the pentamonic group classified the gymnosperm into a three orders that is methase, coniferase, and psychedase. Okay. Let me see in monocotyledon. Monocotyledon, pentamonic group classified monocotyledon into a seven series. It's a series one, two, three, and a series of seven series. The first series is a microsperme. In monocotyledon flowers, which contains a small cedar. A small cedar flowers, a small seed producing plants are comes under this series microspermy. And the epigyne means a large the superior ovary and produce a large cedar. A large cedar flowers comes under the series epigyne, the large cedar, especially what is called a coconut. Coconut is a monocotyledon plant, it produces a large seed. So, coconut comes under the series, Yebigene, like that. Yeah. So, the inferior ovary, Yebigene means inferior ovary, and the large seed comes under the Yebigene. Microspin means the Yebigene ovule, but produce a small seed. Then the colonaria. Colonaria means the superior ovary flower contains a colored period. The period is colored. Okay, the period is colored. The colored period is comes under the colonaria. The calcinia, fourth series is a, is a calcinia. Calcinia means, the calcinia means superior over the flower, but period is only green. Green color period alone is present. That plants are considered the series calcinia. And the fifth series is nudiflora. Nudiflora means it does not contain a period. It's a negative, it's a negative, it's a negative. The calyx and the calva is not present, not differentiated. Okay, it's called nudiflora. And apocarpe, apocarpe means carpal surface, it's a sixth series. The flower which contains a three carpals that comes under the series apocarpe. The last series in monoclamine, sorry, the monocotyledon is gulumine. Gulumine means it, it is a inferior ovary plant, but it produces a large scales. The large scales are present that comes under in Gurumiye. So, the Bendaman Cook has classified overall plants into a three classes. The plant is classified three classes that is, bicarp, gymnosperm, and monocarp, and the subclass. The subclass means three subclass in bicarpidum, polymetlay, gamopetlay, and monoclamidae, and classified and divided into three series 
this is subclass in polypetalate, thalamifluoride, disipulate, lysifluoride, in gamopetalate, this is subclass in infrared, ketoamidate, bicarbonate, in monoclamide, in directly classified into series, that is calvary, multivolate, aquati, multivolate, thalastase, daphnase, and microlimine, yet clamidos, polling, unisexuals, and RNS anomaly. In monopatlidum, it is microsome, epigame, calone, calicine, nudifluoride, apocarpe, and the glumie. Right. I hope you understood the classification of Benda Mandar Cooker in very well. So if you have any doubt, you should say ask, I will clarify your doubt. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.